I am officially starting my New York City Fashion Week vlog right here. I'm in my office right now. I'm about to start pulling outfits um, to wear. I did buy a few things from Dish and Zara, um, but that's all I have. I wasn't really trying to spend a whole bunch of money on stuff because I'm not really like a fashion centric. <laughs> or fashion centered person i just want to go and have a great time I'm just there for vibes you guys not really to serve looks or anything plus the events during fashion week are always just so fun so yeah we're just going for vibes um so i did order a few things just for the few events that i have on my itinerary and um that's really it i ordered a few things plus i'm gonna be wearing a lot of like older things that i already own and um hopefully it comes together and looks cute um because that's really the best that I can do. So I think for now, I'm just gonna try on clothes so I see how they look on my body. I'm still waiting on a few pairs of shoes to arrive, so. I'm also vlogging with this giant camera. It's so heavy, um, but this is an overview of the pieces that I pulled from my closet and put in here, just so I can have a visual of the color scheme, because I kind of just want to be in one like theme. I don't wanna be all over the place. I do want everything to be cohesive. As you guys can see, we have some leather, we have some knits, have some different texture. This is actually Renee's. I borrowed it a while back and I need to return that to her, but I'm gonna wear it for fashion week and then I'll just drop it off. Cropped like Bermuda thingies. I don't know, I just have a bunch of like random things in here if I'm being honest. Um, I got a new bag from Zara, which is this one. We have some belts, but I got this red sheer number just maybe if I have like a nighttime party or something. Um, have a bunch of things down here too, but we will go through all of those. A lot of what you see here is not going. I'm bringing a carry on and nothing more, so I'm really not trying to overpack. So, um, yeah. Right. Hey guys, it disappeared for a little bit. I went to get my nails done, as you guys can see. So I'm doing red nails for Fashion Week. Plus, I th I'm just feeling the red nails right now. Um, they didn't have my preferred shade of red. I use this one polish, it's called Flirt Alert. It's by Wave Gel. I used to own it just because it's the first red shade I've ever found that I really, really loved. But I don't know where it is. I guess it got lost in like the move. But this one works. It's fine. Anyways, fashion week. <laughs> Today's Wednesday. I'm flying out tomorrow. I really wanted to stay at like the one hotel or something. Because I do know the one hotel. Like when you stay there. Like you get to use the house car a lot. Um, and it would save me so much money on Uber. But um, the best rate I was able to get from them was $600 a night. Plus, I still had to post content. So I say, you know what, it's okay. It's alright. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just stay at like a hotel that's more um, affordable. Um, but also because I will be staying with Raquel. She's flying in from London. Um, I mean, it's perfect. I'm saving so much money on stay because we're gonna be splitting. So, I mean... When when we get to do some shopping because I'm way under budget. So a lot of things are going on. I feel like I I'm trying to organize my events. I so I made a note here of all the events I have to attend, just so I don't miss anything. And um, some of these events they want to like dress you. So I'm trying to make sure that I pick all my items and they get sent to the hotel. So when I'm there, I can just get dressed and go to the shows. morning it's 4 54 a.m i'm getting ready now to go to the airport it is so early i barely slept because when i went to sleep 
it was kind of early, like after 10. Got on my phone, fell asleep around two, so barely slept. I'm a little tired, which is why I'm so happy that I did my hair last night because it would have been a big issue doing it now. I packed away a lot of my makeup, so I'm just using what I, whatever I have left in my makeup drawer here. Also, I just did my makeup because I do have an event when I land and Chances are, I'm not gonna have time to do my makeup at all. And I'm not doing it on the plane. Literally hate doing that. I'm using the House Labs concealer under my eyes. I just got these. But I tested out the Makeup by Mario concealers and I think I like those better. Just because the House Labs concealer is a little thick, like so way, way thick. And the Makeup by Mario concealer is like lighter, but the coverage is just as good as the House Labs, like thick one. Using some old products today, like the Laura Mercier powder. I have not used this in so long. Ever since I discovered the Hourglass, I really haven't touched this. But it's still really good. It's like, um, it's a great powder. I just think I prefer the Hourglass. I don't know why, I just feel like it sits better on my face. Trying out the Kosas powder. This is a new, a new one for me as well. I really like this powder. I'm gonna pack this in my actual purse for when I want to touch up. Refined Beauty on the brows. I'm not gonna fill them in just because I have no clue. Zero clue what my brow product is. To be fair, like this is a really good product to use as well, but I just don't really, I don't like the pen-like strokes for the entire brow, just like that section is fine. I think we're good to go, guys. That's pretty much it for my makeup right now. I'm just gonna set with the, the milk and we're out of here. Hey guys, I'm all packed and ready to go to the airport. I'm just wearing this jumpsuit or cat suit from Aritzia in this olive shade, which I thought was really pretty. I'm just wearing a tan or, I don't know, like off tan beige blazer, which I thought looks really nice as well. And um, my Laura Pianas, because it's still like appropriate to wear this, thank goodness, because I don't have a pair of loafers that I really like yet for the winter, which I'm gonna really try to pick one up um, while I'm in the city as well. Um, since I'll be around a bunch of shops, but I'm all ready to go now. I'm just gonna Head downstairs. i um, fragrance that I'm wearing to the airport is the Baccarat Rouge I haven't used this in so long. I do have a little bit left in the bottle So I figured I'd take it just because I don't use this as much anymore an uber went to my hotel which was like so annoying like they are just it was just madness but that's okay we quickly just got changed and head out to my first um event which was like the lajon's fashion presentation this is my first time being in like being like at a presentation it was kind of like weird like the models were just standing there i didn't know if i should speak say hello they were just there but um these are the pictures that i took i thought they came out really really cute and yeah that was the first one one thing about New York City events, they always have drinks, okay? Wine, rosé, champagne, cocktails, but they never have food. No they could crack us our cheese, so I was hungry, so let's go get some food. My, what do you want to be known as, Octavia? My partner in crime, my left arm, my right arm. What, my what, what, whatever feels the most organic. My partner in crime, Octavia, can be known as. I like that. Hey, yeah. I've had two rosés. So anyway, 
Which one is navigated? I see her so bad. What is it? 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 arriving hotel check-in that whole thing but this is our very first like full day we're going to Pilates with oh, I want to get a cookie from in here after now no 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 after okay, okay. Let, me, let's let me map this so yeah let's map um but right now we're going to Pilates we have an hour to kill so I'm gonna just do my makeup on the streets really quickly and then get a bagel egg, egg and cheese i've been dreaming of a bagel egg and cheese like forever now so yeah also need content you know the things are you sure yeah okay so i decided to do this little thing where i was doing my makeup in the streets of new york i thought it would be like a fun like content idea um, I don't think I'm gonna post it on Instagram or anything, but I thought it was a fun like idea because with fashion week and all the craziness, you're usually on the go. So I just wanted to show, share with you guys like a fun glam look, but not really glam, just simple. So after my on the street makeup routine, we went to Pilates, stopped by Leon's Bagels for this yummy bagel, so good. Then I popped into Sam and Woman just because I love their shoes and I feel like I don't own any and I just wanted to give it a try. So I found this lovely pair, which I'm gonna be wearing to tonight's event. Anyways, for tonight's event, Kenton Gray was in town and they were hosting this building your brand kind of like panel slash reception hour. So we popped in and they had Dapper again in the house, the founder of Amy Colet, um, Topical, so really great panel and I learned a lot. And of course, got some images there too. This is how they turned out, that's me and Raquel. And then this was basically my full fit. I just went with like a set, <laughs> I didn't really know what else to do. Anyways, there was food at the event, but they were like the finger foods, which only just opened my appetite even more. So I definitely wanted to go grab dinner. Um, I love Milos. Um, I usually go to the Hudson Yards location, but I felt like this location was closest to our hotel, so we went there and I just always have a great time. So the next day I was filming a reel. I tried really hard to get some content while I was there, um, but this is like the last end of the trip where I started to feel so exhausted. But today we're going to an Estee Lauder event and um, I'm really excited about it because I've used their skincare before but i haven't really used much of their makeup outside of their lipsticks so i was really excited to c connect with the team on you know in the beauty space or well, makeup space <laughs> and um yeah we're just getting ready for that i went with this brown tone dress i thought it was very appropriate because it was like a breakfast brunchy kind of thing so this is a venue very intimate and um downstairs was like their installation thingy where you could just come and get the face scan and your foundation match i forgot what the shade was that she matched me to exactly but yeah these are the photos that i took Okay, so later that evening after Estee Lauder, we popped into um, the Creed event for the launch of their new fragrance, Carmina. I would describe this as like a spicy floral scent. 
Um, but yeah, we were here very briefly because we had to pop over to the Rebecca Menkoff party. And I feel like she throws the best party in New York City. I mean, last year she took me to the Hamptons. Amazing. But yeah, she had an artist there. I forgot it. Leon Bridges. So that was really fun. The following day, I went to a fashion show with Bread um, to see Sandy Liang. And um, it was a rainy day. It was so gross out. But we made it through, um, and after that, we basically relaxed, and I came home the next day. I was due to, like, leave on Wednesday, but I had to end the trip early, you guys. I it has been a while since I've taken out this vlog camera. It's been a while. Um, so much to kind of chat about. So much has happened. I feel like, what did I do? I think I vlogged at Fashion Week in New York, and then I came home, and I've just been, like, trying to catch up on work ever since because... I really had no business going to New York for Fashion Week because I had so much work to do. But um, we're back now, so lots of catching up to do. I was just trying to like um, lay my girl April here just so it looks good because I want to shoot and just not be worried about my hair looking crazy. So yeah, I'm going to get ready really quickly though. I just want to get a start on the day. It's already 11.48 a.m. Okay, so two things right now. I'm by my window. The lighting, the sun, and it keeps looking bright and dark and bright and dark. So I'm so sorry about that. But either way, I'm just going to do my makeup really quickly. worst makeup I've ever done and it's because I'm rushing I don't know I've been doing my makeup like every day for the past week so I'm kind of like over it my skin's over it my skin wants a break I need a break so I'm just rushing the makeup but I did it more <laughs> beautifully in my routine video okay, so first video of the day that I have to shoot I just need to read over the document here just to kind of make sure that I have everything down packed so this one I'm gonna shoot maybe tomorrow, but if I can knock that out today, that'll be great. All right guys, so excuse a mess. This packet contains all the stuff that I have to work on this week, but I've shot two videos yesterday and I wanna shoot two today and that will kind of like complete everything that I need to do for the week work-wise. And then I can focus on like you guys. I really miss making organic content, but I just feel like I've just been having like ads after ads after ads after ads, which isn't a bad thing, you know, thank you the Lord. But it kind of takes me away from creating organic content, which I love, love doing the most, you know? I do this because I love it, but just so happens that it's my full-time job, so it has to pay me as well so um you know it's a balance between work and like fun so once i do the work stuff it's time for fun stuff and i've just been creating a lot of content i don't know that i'm really like excited about so yeah let me just read over this packet see what i gotta do i'm working on this document today um i'm gonna wear this outfit um i'm gonna wear some new jewelry that i just got i just want to unbox my new some, some new jewelry that i got from tori birch i feel like this fashion week i just was just hearing about Tory Burch a lot. I went on their site. They have some really good stuff. I'm really impressed with like the brands, like newer things. Um, they're definitely like almost like inspired by like real things. Like this to me is like a uh, it's inspired by like the Van Cleef stuff. Um, you know what I mean? Like that like clover thing, but it's not really clover. It's actually the 
Tory Burch sign. Um, this almost looks like a Louis Vuitton sign, but it's not. Um, it's just Tory's um, sign. But I really like this, and it's gold. It's pretty. I thought it would look really, really nice on. And I saw that they had a matching bracelet, so I picked this one up as well. I thought you guys might really like them as well, so I really wanted to share. So this is the Tory Burch Kyra Clover necklace. And then this is, I'm assuming, is the Kyra Clover bracelet or Kira. I don't really know. So let's put the necklace on first. So this is the first one. Yeah, this is definitely really pretty. I'm going to link it below for you guys. So this is the bracelet. So they're in the $100 range. I believe this is $128, but it's like totally worth it. I feel like I've purchased bracelets for this price before and it was just really horrible quality this is pretty good quality so this is the bracelet on and i feel like this is a really great alternative if you are i guess like wanting a bracelet you like the van cleef but van cleef is not in your budget you want like that same look i really do think this is really pretty today's agenda is to unbox all the pr i have this first one is from nars um they sent to me um what is this their new lip pencils oh wow okay I thought it was eyeliner for a second and I only wear black eyeliner so when I get like new eyeliners I never really wear them but if this is lip liners oh wow okay they sent me a lot I do have a makeup giveaway going on soon so I'm definitely gonna be like giving away a few of these products but oh love that and NARS always have like the best like pe they always just have the best like thingies so good and I love that this next one is from YSL Beauty. I love this box. I feel like I've had this PR sitting around for so long. I didn't realize it was my favorite mascara though, which I'm actually running low on, but I do. So basically they just added a new color to their collection. So you guys know I love Lash Clash and Black. They recently released a brown, which I don't really like just, just because th this does not look great on me, but it's very natural. If you wanted to like have that lash look without the black, this is nice and now they recently added blue i think i would give this a try like i'm open to it i need to like go on pinterest and find blue mascara inspo looks but oh wow oh wow okay i wasn't expecting it to be this kind of blue that's kind of cute okay i don't want to keep this though the eyeball thing is kind of freaky but <laughs> this next one is by fenty beauty so they have the perfume body cream now which i actually tried already i don't know if you guys can tell like it's opened i tried it love it so good i remember purchasing the perfume when it first came out i kind of feel like i wasn't really in love with it but now i kind of really like it surprisingly so this is their travel size kind of like system here which i this is really neat i like when perfumes have this little thing because it makes it easy to just throw it in your purse um, so I really like that. I don't know if she's selling it like that, but I will look into it because if she is I feel like that's a really good buy to have in your bag Yes, love that. I have a couple more PR packages That I'm excited for for example, we the people I'm assuming that's how you say it because this is French like we right? Yeah, so this is a really good one that I'm excited for this is the brand that I've never tried though That's why I want to try it out so it's a body care line, which I'm all for that. So I feel like I could do better with my body care. Um, and I definitely could use some a little extra exfoliation.
definitely having one of those days where I don't want anything sucked onto my body, okay? I don't want no tight of tight of clothes. I want to be comfortable. Also, I'm going to the nail salon, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna just wear this sweatshirt. I have not worn this in so long. I used to purchase these from Boohoo. My body's a little bit sore. I had a really hard workout yesterday. My body's sore, so I just want to be comfy. Especially my abdomen. I kid you not, everybody's been commenting, talking about, oh, you're glowing, you're glowing. And people are like really thinking like I'm like, you know. And it's like, uh-uh, no. But it really motivated me to get back into the gym. It's like, no, I'm glowing because of just, people glow for a lot of different reasons. And anyways, let me just put some concealer on. I'm going to do my nails. I was gonna wait until I was back in New York to get my nails done, as I have been doing. Um, because I just feel like down here, I just haven't really found anyone that's really, really great. That doesn't require an appointment. I was really trying to like avoid going to like the trendier places because I feel like, you know, whenever you do that, you just have to go through like the booking and waiting for appointments. And when it comes to my nails, I want to just walk in, okay? And I want those old school like pedicures, the one where you soak, the, the massage chairs, good old callus remover, the great looking something. Um, I just want all that good old old school stuff when it comes to my feet and they do a good job and they will massage the cap out of, out of your feet. I feel like the new age places, the pedicures are very like aesthetically pleasing but why are my feet still rough? Why are my feet still sore? You know what I mean? So that's what I don't really, really like. However, the place that I go to in Soho, they do a really good pedicure. It's just expensive. And I think I want a place that does all that for like the old school prices. <laughs> I want a place right now here. I believe I pay like 45 and when I tell you, I get that it's an hour long pedicure. When was the last time you got a pedicure that lasted an hour? I feel like everywhere you go now, the moment your foot touches the water, it's like, come. Scrubbing with that little full full stone we can't get off nothing first of all And it's very gentle Wash off a little soap another cold scrub and then before you know it you're getting polished and it's like Huh <laughs> um, So the place that I go to they put you in like nice warm hot water You know your feet are is in it for like a couple minutes um, they come back and they scrub the dead skin off of your calves and your actual foot Then they go in with that callus remover wrap it in the saran wrap so it can really marinate the, the, the dry stuff Come back with the grater Scrub off all that stuff <laughs> Which I heard is not healthy for you. You're not supposed to do that Because of I don't know some reason, but I don't care. I need it. So <laughs> um they um, do that part then they come back with like the hot stone and they give you another massage and then they give you the lotion and then they give you the hot towels and it's like yes take all my money because I love that kind of like I love all of that and I'm just putting on a little face just because I'm trying to grow them out because I want to go get like a brow service very soon but not like lamination or anything I kind of want to like look into getting them like more more of a permanent solution I've been looking into micro shading micro shading is I'm gonna go do my nails today which I'm excited about this is what they look like right now um they're just like can you guys see that I'm sorry just like square I do need a fill but because I have gel X I can't do fills so this is gonna have to be soaked off and I'm gonna just put gel X back on and do like an almond shape with maybe like a French okay makeup is done this is what we're gonna be working with today I'm not gonna do any mascara or anything just very simple but um yeah I've been shopping a lot <laughs> a lot I don't know why though I'm not I don't really go out but I've been shopping a lot because I've just been like I have a few things that I really really need to replace in my wardrobe um, I I wore this blazer the other day It's by Aritzia. It's a long time purchase. It's by Wilfred 
I love this blazer. Oh my god, it smells like Baccarat so much. Yeah, I need to get this dry clean. But I have this blazer by Ritzy that I really, really, really love. And I would really love a black version. But I can't find this exact blazer, nor do I know what, what it's called. The name isn't in here, it just says Wilfred. Um, so I would really like another blazer because I wear this one so often. Um, so yeah, I need a black blazer and I need a black loafer. If you've been following me for a minute, you know that I used to love this Tory Burch um, loafer. I'll put it on the screen. I used to have that. Love it, wore it all the freaking time. Um, but I wore it to the shreds, okay? So I had to get rid of it and I needed one forever now, okay? I've tried to purchase other one from different brands, but it's not hitting the same. So I saw that Tori had one on sale, so I decided to purchase it. Um, one second though, there's something in this box that's not really, who is this from? Is this mine? Oh, okay, this is not from Tori Birch. This is from Anthropology. And then these are the shoes that I ordered from Anthropology. Okay, so this is what we have in the bag. Okay. Okay, so I'm home. I stopped in a beauty supply store to get edge, edge control because I didn't have any. Um, when you have braids, you know, you need edge control. Um, I got two. So on this side, I have the bomb. The bomb edge control. So that's what it looks like. I feel like it did a really good job. I, I'm kind of out of practice where laying my edges is concerned. I feel like I haven't done this in so long. So don't mind the look of it. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good and the edge edge control is like not white Well, I just did it like a minute ago. So it's too early to tell and then on this side. I have sorry I have the this one So I got two they came up to like 30 bucks. This was 11.99. The other one was price isn't on here But I believe this one was like $15 She said this was like highly rated and I felt like it was good because she had it like around the counter like not in the aisles and then I just got a little brush, which is a little bit too harsh, but I feel like it's okay. But as I was laying my edges, I was like, wait, I think I could braid another one in just because I have a lot of hair here. I am I am the one that told her not to braid it because from the looks of things, as she was doing doing my hair, it looked like it was like my baby hairs. And I didn't want to risk losing my hair now. Okay, I'm just gonna braid it in just this one. I don't know if you guys can see that little piece of hair. So basically, you kind of just create a little X in the braiding hair. Or hold it together as is and just kind of like separate it on one half. Because the goal is to create three sections. And that third, and that little third section, that middle piece, is what you're gonna use to kind of grab onto that hair. Okay, we got it. Yep, we got it. Yep. She is gripped in there. And then also, these are my nails. <laughs> now that I'm up close, you're able to see them, but I just got my simple like nail like look. Um, I'm really not happy with the service. I felt like when I told her to reshape things, she had a little bit of an attitude. And one, th one thing about me, which is like a flaw of mine, I talk about this a lot in therapy, but I am a energy matcher, okay? If I greet you with kindness and you reciprocate like mean energy, not the first time, but if you continuously do it, I'm going to match that energy. Which is why more time, just stay on my yard. Especially so when I'm dealing with someone who is like a service provider like for example you are a barista like the people come here first thing in the morning and you're sometimes the first face that they see you know and it's like really like it's early what could you possibly be upset about granted I'm sure you don't want to be at work but here's the deal we work because we need money and we need money because we have bills to pay like nobody's forcing you to be here like this is a job like what's the deal with the attitude and um you know you guys know this too about me like i used to be a waitress and you know I, although i didn't enjoy waking up early and whatever i really tried my hardest to just maintain a positive attitude, especially because I worked in the AM. 
um, people, I'm um, sometimes the first face that that they're seeing, and you know, I understand that like impact it has on your day, but yeah. Anyways, long story short, she had an attitude with me, and I just started having an attitude too, and it's like, all right. So the braid is in pretty securely, I might add. Oh, and it's the perfect length because there's literally nothing I cannot do. I mean, I can do my own sew-ins, I can do my own... I think that's it. Yeah, I do think it looks better now. Definitely needed a little braid there. So, my braids are still a little tight. I can't wait until they loosen up so I can start styling my hair. Hi! Okay, today's Friday at about like 1.30 right now. I've just been at home just like on my computer editing. I just want to get a bunch of things um, edited in time for fall tomorrow. I have lots of content that I'm shooting. I just need to get it up. But yeah, today's Friday. Um, what was I doing? I was just cutting my braids upstairs just to make it like shorter. So now it's here instead of like down to like my butt. Um, so I just did a blunt. Oh my God, there's a lizard. That is so scary. That is so scary. Yeah, I'm never going to the backyard again. That's scary. Um, yeah, I was upstairs actually blunt cutting my braids <laughs> just to kind of make it a little bit shorter. So I just did a blunt cut, or at least I tried my best to do it. Um, so now it hits me like right by my bra and then right by my bra strap in the back. But yeah, I have a bunch of things that came in um, from Aritzia and Tori Birch. I think I showed you guys the necklace and the bracelet earlier this week, but I want to show you guys a pair of loafers that, that I ordered. I'm going to do a fall collective haul, so a few of these items you might see again, um, but I'm not sure. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, that lemon is lemon -y. But um, yeah, time for a quick Aritzia haul so I can go take a nap because I do not feel well. There, I feel a little cold coming on and it's gonna get the best of me because I have not been sleeping well. It's so hard sleeping with the braids. One, they were tight. The thing I got were, was the Divinity jumpsuit. So this is what I wore to the airport in my Fashion Week vlog, but the green version. So I decided to grab the black one. Um, these are just a really good staple to have in your wardrobe and under a blazer with a pair of loafers, chef's kiss, always looks good. You're gonna always look put together while wearing this. So I picked this up. The only downside, like every time you use the bathroom, you kind of have to undress yourself. But I mean, it's just a pull down and pull up. I mean, not that big of a deal. This bandeau top, which I showed in my fall wish list video. Um, so I got I got it. It's here. It looks really really nice um, I don't know if it fits or anything yet, but I just got it and then I got the Trousers that I mentioned I got a size 6 and I'm really regretting it and I'm kind of thinking like this was final sale Just because of the fact that I got it on sale um, I should have gotten a size 4. I also have the black pair of the com command pant Love these as well. Um, again, a size six. Got it on sale. I'm really excited about that. That sweater I showed you guys as well in that video. It's one that has all the little, you know, the little thingies here. So that's what I got. You guys know I love a Tory Burch loafer. I've owned one of their loafers for the longest time. I just wore it to shreds, you guys. So I needed a new one and. I just wanted to share with you guys this one because it is so beautiful. I love a loafer, okay? And I love that this is very similar to like the Laura Piana style where the tongue area is comes way like back, you know what I mean? So it's not like short. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's definitely a smart loafer, so definitely could could be worn to work if you wanted to, but I feel like my style of dressing is very like, it's casual, but it's also very elevated, so this won't look bad on me, and it looks so good on the feet, and it's extremely comfortable. This is the inside of the shoe, the Tory Burch is in the, on the thing there, and I just got my actual shoe size, which is a size seven, 
and it fits me perfectly but yeah i really do love those loafers so much and even with like my like the jumpsuit I got with the loafers on, a blazer. It's just gonna be so nice. And what sold me on this shoe, you guys, is the model. Like I love to see how a shoe looks on the feet and look how sleek that is. Do you see how sleek that is? That's why I wanted it. I had okay, to have so I washed my hair, showered, that whole thing. And now I'm gonna plant my little butt in front of the computer and get some editing done. Much needed editing done. And um Hopefully by then, like the water would have absorbed into this towel that um, my Crown Affair sent me. It's so pretty and just like so convenient. This is not really the correct way to use it, but because I don't want my hair poofing up, I want to contain the fro um, because I cannot braid it myself. <laughs> I can't, I tried, it was a fail. Um, I just want to contain the fro, so I'm just keeping it tied into this little towel. I'm going to do my morning skincare though. I feel like my skin is really like clearing up, although it doesn't appear that way on camera. I feel like you guys don't really see the true beauty of my skin on camera. But um, this Cordelie, this Cordelie Vino Perfect Serum, um, I was recently just like, reintroduced to it this is a really good serum for clearing up your dark spots like it's really good for that reason so i just like to put this on firstly just because it's more like a watery substance and i want to say clears your hyperpigmentation but what it does is sorry but what it does is um brighten your skin and in brightening your skin it's gonna brighten those spots and make them like less you know apparent so i like to put it on after that i like to go in with my matter of fact products a really good skincare line i recently did an ad for them and i feel like with ads like people are more like hesitant to buy in it because they feel like it's an ad but any skincare brand that i promote just know it's a skincare brand that you should check out i'm not gonna give you guys any foolishness because you guys know how far i'm coming from with my own skin so please don't even second guess it but this is really really good now i'm gonna go with the matter of fact i'm um, resurfacing and hydrating serum so the thing is your skincare line to some might seem a little bit complex but it's really simple because you can create your own little cocktail meaning whatever your issues are that you're trying to treat you can do your own thing help with just cell turnover exfoliation and also it's hydrating so i really like that because exfoliating and hydration together is like such a good combo never thought of that before now this is their brightening and firming serum and there's instruction behind here like suggested use but i'm just checking to make sure that it's safe for daytime because i've been kind of like messing up that part of my routine sometimes where i'm using products that should not be used in the day then i'm just gonna seal this all in with their moisturizer which is also really really good this is their minimalist hydrating moisturizer i don't know they just have some really good ingredients and then the best thing about this entire line is everything layers well with each other like you don't have to worry about piling most importantly i have sensitive skin and when i use any kind of like active ingredients like all these like ingredients like retinol and all these sort of acids my skin peels and gets red and irritated and everything that i'm using now is just very comfortable on the skin so you can layer as many as you want um just because i'm layered so many things if this were a nighttime routine i would say just you know do your skincare maybe an hour before you actually go to bed just so you won't have to rub this off on your pillow so it can really just absorb into your skin nicely so I just go in with the la mer eye cream and this is just nice little added luxury to my routine as well 